Unlike many celebrities, film veteran Clint Eastwood has settled outside of Hollywood in Carmel, California, a much quieter and secluded Oceanside town. When the actor stumbled upon the Mission Ranch, he was drawn to it and it gave him the feeling of home. Clint is the proud owner of the 1850s built ranch as well as his own exclusive community. These are far from the only properties he's owned. He also recently sold his estate in Pebble Beach, is said to keep two neighboring homes above the Bel Air Country Club, and has a property in Sun Valley, Idaho. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Clint Eastwood is an actor, director, and producer who, now in his early 90s, is certified Hollywood royalty. He gained success in the Western TV show Rawhide, but rose to fame with his role as the man with no name in Western movies during the 60s, as well as the anti-hero cop, playing Harry in the Dirty Harry movies in the 70s and 80s. His career as a director has also been a huge success, winning Academy Awards for two of his films, Unforgiven and Million Dollar Baby. His awards include four Academy Awards and four Golden Globes, among others. Prolific actor was also elected in 1986 and served for two years as the mayor of his beloved town of Carmel by the Sea, California. After a successful career and amassing a net worth of around $375 million, Clint spends a lot of time at his restored Mission Ranch. The home was nearly falling apart when Clint came across the property and he's since taken on numerous renovations on it, not only making it livable for himself, but for others too. Decades in the making, Clint also transformed another property into a 2,000 acre private residential enclave. Tahama, as the community is called, is also considered sustainable with features like an energy efficient golf course and 85% preserved green space. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we'll take a look at where Clint Eastwood calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. First, let's look at the Pebble Beach estate Clint had sold back in 2017, which he used to live at. It's not reported how much the final sale price was, but at the time, the actor was asking $9.75 million for this beautiful home in Monterey County, and it's reported he bought it in 1994 for just over $3.9 million. Located in Pebble Beach, California, this stunning property covered 4.7 acres of gated and private land in an exclusive neighborhood here. And as you might expect, this area is just down the coast from Clint's current home, Carmel by the Sea. The Hacienda style home is referred to as Hacienda Este Madre, which translates to Eastwood Estates. So if you didn't know it was Clint's home, well, now you do. The abode measured in at nearly 7,000 square feet of space, five bedrooms, each with their own ensuite, and 6.5 baths in total. For a bonus, there was a separate staff suite too. The rustic and elegant home was arranged around a peaceful courtyard, shaded by oak trees, also featuring a fountain with colorful tiles and an outdoor fireplace, which sets the tone for things to come inside. Once you walk through the towering carved wood front doors, you'll enter into a cavernous great room. This massive space spans almost 40 feet long and boasts terracotta tiled floors, a huge fireplace, and a vaulted wood ceiling with skylights overhead. Furthermore, this space looks out to some amazing ocean views. A well-known architect, Clarence Tentow, based out of San Francisco Design, a well-known architect, Clarence Tentow, based out of San Francisco, designed Clint's former home back in the 1920s, and he's responsible for the Spanish farmhouse style. This aesthetic comes complete with the thick adobe walls, terracotta roof, handcrafted ironwork, and Spanish doors. Formal dining room is cozy yet classy, with a Kiva-style fireplace set into one corner, along with an exposed wood coffered ceiling, and according to the listing materials, this space had hosted iconic dinner parties for artists, authors, dignitaries, and musicians from around the world. Well, with a former legend like Clint owning the home, I can't say I'm too surprised. Also on the ground level, French doors from some of the main living spaces lead out to a stone terrace with stunning tree-framed views over Carmel Bay. The fully equipped kitchen offered top-notch appliances and more skylights overhead, while a spacious butler pantry connected it back to the dining room. Also attached to the kitchen was a breakfast room with fireplace. 
Elsewhere, you'll find the master suite just off of the living room, which has its own warm fireplace, a spacious bathroom, as well as two fitted dressing rooms or closets. There's even a small second floor on top of the master bedroom that offers up a petite fitness room and an office or a study with built-in bookshelves and built-in desks. The four guest rooms with en-suites open off of the courtyard in the middle and can't be accessed from the common interiors of the home. They're quite private. Then, the bonus staff suite is set across from a secondary courtyard outside of the kitchen. Clint has a love for Carmel by the Sea, California, which is where he lives to this day. His love affair with the town began in 1951 when he was drafted into the army and stationed by the nearby Fort Ord. He later filmed Play Misty for Me in the area, and it's also important to note that Clint served as the Carmel mayor from 1986 to 1988. Malpaso, his film production company, is also named after a local creek. Clint said about Carmel, First time I saw the place, I thought it was terrific. Visually, it was something else. And I thought it was the place I'd like to call home, so I kind of adopted Carmel. There was a rundown ranch here which Clint was drawn to, and after becoming a big movie star, he returned here and bought what was dubbed the Mission Ranch property. In 1986, a developer with plans to build condominiums began negotiating to buy it, but Clint rescued the property, paying $5 million to make the 22 acres of land his very own. The buildings were in need of some TLC, so the actor got to work on the major renovations. At the Mission Ranch, for example, all the wiring was shot and the pipes were leaking so badly that 40% of the gas piped in was lost underground. He put several million to make the property perfect, and now the buildings of Clint Eastwood's Mission Ranch offer 31 luxurious guest rooms, a renovated restaurant and bar, tennis courts, a workout facility, and the best views in California. The ranch boasts a farmhouse with six bedrooms that was built in the 1850s by one of the first local pioneer families, and the house was raised and converted into a two-story residence in 1895. Other guest structures include the bunkhouse and the honeymoon cottage. The grounds of the ranch boast wetlands, views of the sea, beach, and rocky coastlines. Meanwhile, there are farm animals here too, including sheep, goats, and horses. It's said that these days, Clint spends most of his time in a more recently built Hacienda style mansion, spanning 16,000 square feet of space, but the interior photos are hard to come by. It's located in over 14 hilltop acres at the private Eastwood owned Tahama Golf Club. Tahama is an exclusive real estate development designed by Clint in Carmel by the Sea, offering sustainable home sites that took about a decade to develop. This was his next project after the Mission Ranch, and it seemingly was a success. Tahama spans 2,000 acres in the hills overlooking Carmel and features 90 home sites, an energy efficient golf course, and 85% preserved open spaces. Tahama homes can come in a traditional or contemporary style, but all boast authentic architectural styles and materials that blend into the stunning surroundings. Each lot guarantees total privacy, and residents can enjoy access to facilities of the golf course, including a pool, a gym, and a restaurant. Well, now we've checked out the homes of Clint Eastwood, so that concludes this house tour. After seeing one of his former homes and his redeveloped Mission Ranch in Tahoma community, what did you think? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.